Hey there. I hope you're doing good. I'm going to do a pour today. I, um, I've started to mix some paints, but I wanted to show you kind of the final phase of that. I'm going to pour on a 12 by 24 inch canvas. And uh, as you can see, I've got like a puppy tray liner that goes inside of a kennel. And it's probably about 21, 22 inches by 36 inches. So I will turn my canvas this way when I do the pour, but that's what I'm pouring on. I've got push pins on the back. <clears throat> I'll be using black, Artist Loft Black Flow Acrylic. This is what the bottle looks like. I mix it one to one with Oatrol Easy Flow, which is like Floetrol. Oatrol Easy Flow is European. You can get it from OatrolUSA.com or from my Amazon link below the video. I use it because they ship it to me for free and they ask me to demo it, but I actually prefer it over Floetrol, but that doesn't mean that I don't use Floetrol. They're, re they're really the same thing. I just like the quality of Oatrol a little bit better. So when I say Oatrol, you can also use Floetrol as well. And so in a container here, I have the black mix 50-50 with the Oatrol. I also have some black in my squeeze bottle. I have white in my squeeze bottle. And that would be the, uh, the Artist Loft White Flow Acrylic. And I also have some white in a container that's mixed up as well. And the other colors I have are Metallic Red by Artist Loft and Deep Red. I have Silver, which is from the Dollar General store. It is a crafter's closet. I like this silver pretty much better than any of the others. So it's just a dollar store paint, and I've mixed that up, but I want to make it a little bit deeper. So this is Handmade Modern, and it's called Metallic Steel, and it is kind of like a pewter color. And this is from Target. And I'm going to add some of this into my silver to hopefully just deepen it just a little bit. And this just came in the crafting section at Target, probably near the greeting cards in the craft section. That's where I got that paint. I don't typically use, I've used some of the other colors and I can't really say that I love that brand and it's actually not um, it's actually more cost prohibitive to use it. But this is deepening the silver to more of a kind of a titanium silver which I like better. And the consistency is kind of thick but it's pretty much perfect. It's pouring off my stick like warm honey. Um, it's not super wet which would be drippy and you don't want drippy paint. So and here's the um, let me, I've got one left and they're all, the ratios are all one to one with Oatrol. And I'm just going to stir this up and figure out which one is which. This is the metallic one. This is metallic red, this is the deep red. So there's very little difference, but one has some metallic sheen to it, one does not. And metallics from the tube or Two paint in general always kind of needs some water added to it. So I have a water bottle that's 90% water and 10% Oatrol or Floetrol. So it comes out kind of like a white water and it, so it has a little bit of that Oatrol mixture in it so that it will mix into your paint easier. So that's much better. I don't want it super thick, but I don't want it runny either. Just make double check the thickness on this one again, which is good. So I'm going to use black, white, deep red, metallic red, and my mixed up color of silver from Crafter's Closet, and the metallic steel from Handmade Modern from Target. I'm not going to use silicone or OGX in this pour. So here's my canvas and I am going to put 
a skim coat down of black and I'm going to use my Easy Glide icing fondant um, Wilt is by Wilton which is the cake icing company and um, I have a link in the Amazon link I have this on that link and there's one that's a little bit nicer that has like a better handle but it's still a plastic tool and it just helps spread your paint it makes I like it better than like a palette knife kind of thing I just like the control that I get with this and it's kind of quick and I really put more paint down, down than I really need the one thing I do want to do is I want to go over my edges Today I'm going to do like an abstract, kind of like a ribbon pour. I'm going to layer up colors in a container and then pour them across here and, um, and see what happens leaving some black negative space. I want some black to be showing. And if you have bubbles, you can use your heat gun. Um, you can blow on them with your breath and that will help them go away. I do have my heat torch today. Sometimes I use a heat gun. I've been using my torch here lately. That just pops the bubbles. Like I said, there's no... Um, silicone or OGX or anything in this pour that I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is pour colors into this container and then I want to kind of have them flow over the edge and do like a, um, a ribbon effect. So I'm going to just go ahead and put some silver in. And I'm going to be quiet from here and just paint. The cool part about ribbon pours is um, if you don't use silicone is you kind of just want to see what happens without the silicone. It will probably create cells but you don't really know. So you just kind of wait and see what it does. And I can also pop the bubbles that I see. And before I do anything else further, I think I'm going to take my silver that's in here and go ahead and put some black in. The thing about using a torch sometimes is you can 
really heat your surface of paint a little bit too quickly. So you have to be really kind of careful that you don't heat that paint and make it start bubbling up and uh, almost like it's boiling. Like you see your paint boiling. I've done that before in the past. So now I'm just going to see if I can tilt it just a little bit. I'm going to take it off this one edge. So this metallic red is pretty punchy. I'm kind of surprised at, at the vividness of it. Okay, I think I'm done. I wanted it to feel modern and not girly because I do a lot of girly stuff. So I wanted this to have a little bit you know, more masculine feel. So I think I accomplished that.
I like the intersection of lines here. I'm just trying to accentuate. Ran out of that red, so we'll just use this one instead. Okay, I think I'm going to call it quits, but I like it. So there it is. And I'm curious how the metallic red will dry with the silver, but the silver looks silver right now, but the red is kind of more predominant. So. I have a lot of paint in one area there. <clears throat> Got some cool drips underneath. So I'll let this dry and uh, there'll be some cool stuff underneath. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Click on the links below the video. There's a Patreon, PayPal, my website, my Facebook group, the Amazon link with all the products I use, like the butcher paper and the puppy tray, OGX, silicone, all that's listed in the link below my video in Amazon. And um, I'm selling calendars, getting pre-order sales up through about December 7th for uh, the 2019 calendar that I put out. If you want to check that out, there'll be a link for that as well. You have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.